is Cassandra, and as you can see, it's a makeup thing. I got my hair back, and my face, and my face. I got eye stuff going on. Okay, I got my contacts in. That's what I mean. So, today is a little different. I keep saying that. I know. I'm different. So, I'm sure by now that you have seen, like, my husband buys my makeup, or my boyfriend buys my makeup, those things on the YouTubes. So I am doing my Marshall buys my makeup. Okay, <clears throat> let me explain. So you know over on that Zany Laney channel we got the brother Marshall. Well, I decided to make him buy me some makeup. Yeah, that's right, he bought my makeup. So, granted, I paid for it. I sent him the money and he paid for it. But he picked everything out. I, I, I've opened this, but if you look, look, it's, it's all packaged up. So I have no idea what is in here. Uh, he picked out everything. The only thing that I told him not to buy was like foundation, only because we've never met in person and he only knows my face because of this weird lighting setup so this isn't you know lights make your skin look weird so I didn't want to have to have him like try to color check me based on my YouTube videos that that's that's sucky so this what he bought me. Oh, look, there's a whole letters in here, too. I honestly, I only, like, opened it. I didn't even, I didn't even open it. Um, let me look at these real quick and see if they need to be read. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> this was... Also in the package came the Wonder Woman earrings that Lainey had sent me. Ooh, he wrote a long thing. All right, maybe we will go into all of that after we open this up. Because it's kind of like a, hey, I tried to match some stuff with some stuff. Ooh, I see something that's real pretty in here already. And I only look, look, look at that. Look at, I see, I see snake skin. I don't know what it is, but it's snake skin and it's on my back. It's a snake skin bag, but everything is in. Trash. Look at that. It's so pretty. I think this may be my new like concert clutch. Which, by the way, back when I had Ipsy and they would send me all those little bags, that's kind of what I use them for. When I go to like a concert or, or, or a concert, because that's pretty much the only time I've used them. Um, I put my stuff in this little bag because my giant purse like doesn't make it through security because, you know, they think I'm going to kill somebody with my giant purse. So, ooh, ooh, Marshall, look, I got a brush. This is just like Ipsy. This is Ipsy by Marshall. Mm. So first off we have a, it's an Ulta brand brush. We gotta open that up. Ooh, it's so soft, it's so soft. And, ooh. The Too Faced Melted Matte. I like Too Faced stuff. This is in the color Wine Not. Wine Not. And it is like this purple. It is a very purple. Um, the box makes it look kind of brown, which I hate boxes. I hate them so much. Wine Not. I'm interested. I like purple stuff. Um. Uh, <clears throat> We got a Urban Decay ooh, Waterline Eye Pencil in Street. I love Urban Decay's names for stuff. It's so ridiculous and not at all related to what they are. So, oh, good stuff stuck to me. 
um, street eye pencil. It's this kind of greeny blue color. Yeah, yeah, you know what they look like. I'm gonna show that. There's the color. I just did a little tiny swatch because you all see it on here anyway. Uh, that. Hey, look. He's trying to make sure I'm safe and that this stuff stays good and that I don't eat the silica gel because it says do not eat. Safety. All right, and then we got this bag. What all is in this bag? We got the Ulta Beauty, ooh, it's an eye palette with Seaside, this is that a name? Probably not, Ulta doesn't name their palettes. Um, lace, hold on, let me get this plastic crap out of here. It's got like this really nice green color and these shimmers and it's really nice. <laughs> There's another little palette-y thing by Ulta Beauty. Ooh, these are the blushes. <laughs> that. And again, this one's got some shimmer to it and then this is like the blush. So it's kind of like a blush highlight maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. This is an eyeshadow primer from Ulta Beauty, which I did not put on a primer. I only put on some concealer and some foundation, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> Oil free eye makeup remover, which is great because I'm never going to take this stuff off. Uh, it's just little eye remover pads. Fun. Terrible at removing eye stuff. And I have all these little things in here, I can't get them out. We got a pencil sharpener thingy for this eyeliner. And one side is Majesty and the other side is Smoke. So I believe th this is Majesty, it's blue. Smoke is like a gray, gray black. <clears throat> this is, oh, brown tint in medium. Ooh, that means I'm gonna do my brows. We're gonna try that. We saw what happened the last time I tried to do my brows. Ulta. <clears throat> I can't read anything. <clears throat> oh, I dropped that. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Um. Ulta Beauty. Just says matte. Well, wait, what else we got here? A lip gloss stain in Treason. <clears throat> Ooh, Amped Lashes Mascara in Jet Black. And I really don't know what this is. And apparently my contact lenses don't want to work today. It just says Ulta Beauty Matte in Petal. All right, we go on. We gonna look at the letter and see what this says. Uh, so sorry for finding it. high end. Uh, so a little bit about what you'll find in here. High end eye pencil that complements your hair. Cause I like my hair. I should understand that. Nah. All right. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. Oh, it's a lipstick. <laughs> it helps if you open things sometimes. Sometimes you just need to open them and it will tell you what it is. Alright. Alright, so now we have all of our stuff. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, okay. So all of you people that say I'm not so bad at makeup, here's where maybe I will prove you wrong because I didn't bring anything from the only thing that I brought of my own were my brushes which I have both my coastal scents and my little unicorn brushes in here um, I didn't bring any of my makeup I didn't bring my train case that has everything in it so nothing I'm not using anything that I purchased besides my foundation and my concealer because Marshall doesn't really know what color my face is so let's try to get this started um, I'm, I'm going to start with this primer because I did not, like I said, I didn't prime anything. 
I wasn't completely sure what was in here and I probably should have thought ahead and primed my stuff beforehand, but Marshall knows me. I don't I don't prepare. I don't why? Why prepare for anything? So nude matte eyeshadow primer. I think I might have put a little too much on. Alright. Let's prime these babies. Yeah, I do like the way this feels though. Alright, um, I just wiped off a whole bunch of my own makeup because I'm good at that. Alright, so we're going to go with the eyes first because that's kind of where I always start. It's just my... And no offense Marshall, I'm getting rid of these stupid little brushes. These are no good for anything. So I'm going to use my own brushes. So it's not going to be, well, and and the one that he got me but um like that's not against marshall that's against whoever the idiots are that make these palettes that put these stupid little sponge tip things in here these are useless stop putting them in there all right so we are going to start with i can't find any of my brushes this is the one that i want yeah brush um and I'm going to start with whoop, not dropping the palette first. Um, this is called Lace up here. It's this light color. And we're just going to put that kind of all over as a base to get this started. going to do is I'm going to do uh, the seaside on the lid with the the greenish bluey thing on the lid and then I'm gonna do I think this nostalgia which is this glimmer glimmer it's a shimmer shade not a glimmer not a glimmer uh, in the crease and kind of a little up a bit from the crease to kind of pop it and then I think I'm going to use Delicate and lace, maybe, as a brow thing. Maybe. I don't know. So we're going to switch out some brushes here because I need more brush than what I have here. All right. Seaside on my lids. See, I do these things way differently than other people. People start with their, their crease and then go from there. I start with my lids because that's the important part to me. I'm gonna do is yeah nostalgia I think and then we gonna work our way up oh, my face feels gross today for some reason I don't know why I think I think my concealer might be going bad I gotta look into that picking it up with my brush and now I've got it all over me 
Now what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of, I am going to use, I can't get a brush out. I'm terrible today. I am going to use Delicate, which is a, um, I would call nostalgia like a bronze color. And Delicate is a little, you know what, I better check this out. Like, It's lighter than that. Yeah, it is definitely lighter than that. Okay, yeah. It is still a shimmer shade, which we know I love. But it's like a lighter, I don't even know what to call it. Like, light brown? I don't know. It's still in the brown family, but it's not bronzy. It's really light. And it occurs to me that I probably should have done my brows before I did that because we know I'm so used to doing brows that I forgot about it. So let's use that brow tint and see if we can um, not make this as awful as I did last time. Okay, brow tint we got in medium, right? Is that what we said? Medium. I'm not really sure how to use this stuff. I don't ever do my brows. All I do is is get them waxed. Okay. Okay. I see this. I see you. I see you. It's a little tiny, uh, whatever the hell they call those mascara wands. I see you. Okay, I still think I look ridiculous, but that's me <laughs> because I don't ever do this. So therefore, I think it looks ridiculous. I don't know. Is that what eyebrows are supposed to look like? They look real dark. Okay, I'm going to make a vow that I'm never going to do my eyebrows again. I don't care. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. Alright, we're going to move on though. We are going to move on. We will let that dry and maybe we can highlight some stuff and make it look not awful. Well, okay, it doesn't look awful, I suppose. I'm sorry, Marshall. I don't do my eyebrows. <laughs> I am not a normal girl. Okay, <clears throat> let's readjust, get this in. All right, we did eyebrows, we did things. No, we're gonna do mascara later because we need to do eyeliner. And I got, what do I got? I got Street and I got Majesty and I've got Smoke. So I think what we're gonna do Oh, um, I know what I forgot to do. I didn't do the under eyes. That's okay. It's okay. We fixed this all. We gotta finish up these eyes. So, oh, Majesty's purple. All right. I think I know what we do. I think this may look a little ridiculous because it's me. I don't know. I can't do makeup normal. <laughs> place. Alright, I think what we're going to do I don't know. I'm going to try some things and then I'll tell you what I did. So what I did is I put Street, Urban Decay Street, on the bottom waterline, 
then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Majesty on the top line in the hopes that what it's going to do is I don't know that even Marshall knows this is I wear purple contact lenses when I wear my contact lenses I only own purple contact lenses I don't own clear contact lenses so my goal is that I'm going to make the purple try to pull my eyes out a bit more than they normally do let's see how that works I am awful at eyeliner let me tell you this awful Don't do winged eyeliner either. I know. I told you I'm, I'm a strange girl. Then what we gotta do is let me. We gotta go underneath still. What I'm gonna do. combination of seaside and nostalgia under the eyes. Um, I did about a third of the way with seaside on both sides and then I filled in the other the last two-thirds with nostalgia and then blended them all out. So kind of, kind of not so bad. And then I'm gonna move on to the blush. The blush. So what we have here is Fresh Glow and Nude Pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Nude Pink on my cheeks as a blush. And then what I'm going to do is use Fresh Glow as a bit of a highlight in here. And I'm going to stick some more of that on that brow because the other it wasn't, it didn't highlight nearly as much as I thought it would. So we're going to do that. Bam. That. Bam. And then I think we're even fun. All right. Oh, lock this brush is so fluffy. I kind of like this blush too. It's like pinky, but not too pink. Alright, and then we're going to try some highlighter with this. Ooh, this might be too much. <laughs> Get ready for that. use that highlighter all over the place. I don't know if it's intended as a highlighter, but it's pretty. I use it on the eyebrow, on the eyebrow, on the brow bone, a little on top of it too to try to find it up. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe eyebrows are supposed to be this dark and I just don't know it. I don't know. I also use it a little bit on the inner corners. Kind of pop those eyes because you know I like popping things. I did not use it on my nose, but for some reason that it's my light. Alright, so we got the cheeks done. And we got the eyeliner done. We need to do some mascara. Again, I did not bring any of my tools, so I'm not curling my lashes. We just go and mascara them. Uh, 
Okay. We don't want to scare them all, all up in here. So, excuse me that my eyebrows aren't all curly. Super weird. It's hold on, see if I can get some. It's like really, really long, and when you go to put it back in the tube, it kind of it's not stiff enough for it to just go and so it kind of like wobbles all over the place. I don't know what's up with that. So let's see if you guys can see this. Like, see straight up, like. Kind of, like, that's not me doing it. I'm just pushing you straight down. Like, with that said, even though this brush is weird, like, I'm not mad at the mascara. Like, it... It is a thing. Like, look at those lashes. Especially, like, those lower lashes. Like, what's up? What's up? Just get a bit of brush. Alright. So, we got the mascara. We got eyeliner and eyeshadow and a blush and highlight. So, now we're just left with the lips. So, with that said, I actually have three lip products here. And I think I'm going to go actually with the Too Faced. I think that was what he had intended with the Too Faced. And I think the other two just came with it. Um, so, let's go with... What did I say this was? Was it? Why not? This look is very purple and green, which is kind of like Joker. Is that what I am? Am I, am I the Joker today? That's okay. I'm okay with that. All right. I think Marshall may have purchased now my new favorite lip product. <laughs> I, I think so. I think, oh my god. No. Alright. I'm not going to apply more. It's going to be crazy if I do that. Alright. So. Right? That's everything? Lipstick, eyeshadow, blush. That's everything. Should we see what Belle thinks? Because you know, Belle's the one that says whether this look is good or not. Dear Belle, what do we think? Okay, I like the, I like the lipstick a lot. Like, Seriously, a lot. Like, I'm going to stare at my lips all day now. Like, oh my god. And I love that, like, it's matte and that it, it dried so fast. So fast. Oh my god. I mean, granted, I don't know that it would pass a kiss test. still feels a little sticky but that just could be because like I literally just put it on um the rest of it I'm, I mean I'm not I'm not mad at it I like it I even really like the green slash purple um you know what we didn't do this we gotta, right right isn't that how you finish off the look as you do your hair and do it all vampy because I only have a little bit of hair <laughs> all the crazy faces. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Um, granted, um, I would have picked different eyeliner, but 
uh, like eyeliner is something that is definitely like a personal taste. So um, I don't usually use pencils too much, but I think as a dude buying makeup, like that's what you reach for. Only because like that's what you reach for when you're starting makeup. Like I can pretty much guarantee to you. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments that your first eyeliner was not a pencil. Did you jump straight into the liquid eyeliner? Because I bet you didn't. I bet you started out with a pencil. And then you were like, mmm, this ain't working no more. So, not mad about it. Like, you know, any of my critiques, Marshall, are not any not anything more than like just this is this is how it is. So I understand why you reached for a pencil, but not what I would have picked. I would have picked a felt tip. I usually use a felt tip eyeliner pencil, liquid liner. Um, works a bit better for me, a little more control, but I get it. I, I get it. That's what every first time makeup person is, and I'm okay with that. Um, but that said, like even though it's a pencil, like I like the colors. The colors came out really good. I like, I'm in love with this mascara. Um, not the wand, so uh, maybe I'm going to try to figure out some way to change that wand up. I don't know how. Find me some new wand. But I love the mascara at all. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, like, I didn't even curl these things and look at this. Like, I did nothing to my eyelashes before putting that on. And they are crazy. And this is just, like, Ulta. Ulta Beauty Amped Eyelashes. What? What? Um, what else do I got to say about this? Uh, I do like the eyeshadow palette. Love the color choices. Love it. I love the green. Um, I mean, I'm not the only one of this palette that I, I use. Now, granted, I didn't use all six shadows. If you use all six shadows on your eye, you, you might have a problem. Um, this lace color is like that didn't come up at all even when I was using it as a base so um okay that color's trash but like I used a lot of seaside and nostalgia and those those are pretty like bombing those are pretty bombing um delicate what did I use oh I did use delicate for my my brow bone there um I did have to go over that again but I think that it was just me wanting a little more oomph in there that I think that for a regular person it works perfectly fine. <laughs> um, I did not try the two matte brown shadows. Um, what is it? Charm and Vintage. I did not use those just because like I don't usually use brown eyeshadows. Uh, you've watched my channel. If you watch my channel once or twice, I don't use brown eyeshadows. But that said, it is a six color palette. Who uses all six colors in a palette? Like, what? So, but I could see if you weren't into the shimmer colors and want a little more, you could use the browns as a, um, the crease color instead of the, the shimmers that I used. Uh, it probably also would work as like a regular color if you were into that, but uh, I'm sure what most people would do with this palette is use the browns as your lid color and then use the green as a more of a like a pop of color on the sides or maybe a little bit in the crease. But not me. I don't do that. I don't do that. I use I use the green all over. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, should we try a kiss test on this lipstick? Oh wait, I got to put the blush. <laughs> <laughs> um, the blush, I really like that too. The the pink is not like super pinky. As you can see, like it shows up, but it's not like bam. It's really nice. What do they call that? Nude pink. Again, it was another Ulta one. Uh, yeah, nude pink. So it's really nice. You can see that it's there and it's making me, making me blush like it's supposed to. And I also really like this fresh glow that I used as a highlight. Like you can, you can real see it there, real see it. You can even kind of see it on my brow, which is what I wanted in the hopes of lightening up. Like you people will have to really tell me about these eyebrow things. Like, is this how it's supposed to look? Did I screw this up? I don't know what the point of this is. 
you have eyebrows. Like maybe, maybe if you have like super, super light eyebrows and that they don't really show up against your skin tone, maybe. But I don't know. I see dark people doing it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Explain it to me. Down in the comments. Explain the eyebrow thing. I need, I need to know. And then, I love this lips. Look. Mm, mm, I say. No. I mean, there was a little bit of residue. But that wasn't, like, it's, it's not, it's like, it's not, um, like real lipstick. It's, it's, it's probably for me going meh, 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 too much and it's kind of crumbly a little bit. Yeah, no, nothing. I don't know. It's sweet. I love this. I, I love this a lot. So, that is my look for my Marshall does my makeup. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Marshall did a good job? I think he did a good job. Thank you so much, Marshall, for participating in this. I believe he did a similar thing for Lainey as well. So head over to her channel. I'm going to give you the link down below. Head over to her channel to go see what he bought her. Now, granted, he lives with her, so he knows her skin, skin tone a little bit better. So they might have a little more... Uh, stuff going on there. I'm not really sure, to be honest. But I like this. I like this a lot. Thank you, Marshall. Make sure you check out the Zany Laney channel where you can see both Marshall and Laney doing all sorts of things. Um, they've been doing some cooking stuff lately, which is really cool. Yeah, more than just makeup. Yeah. Also, make sure you check out my Patreon where you can do all sorts of things. You can get all sorts of rewards. Do you want to decide the stuff that goes on my face? That's a reward, you know. You know, you, you donate some money and then you can pick out the products that go on my face. Maybe you want me to look like a clown. Maybe you want me to wear orange eyeshadow. Because that's a thing. It's a thing. It happened before. So, make sure you go check that out. Sign up. Become a patron. Get some cool rewards. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my videos. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as Dear Cassandra Morgan and over on Twitter as Cassandra Morgan. I will see you next time. Bye.